Yo, what's going on, everybody? Uh, this is Orlando, and I wanted to showcase a game that I believe some of my buddies would be interested in. Mostly my buddy Cameron, David, I think might like this. I'm not really sure. Um, I saw the trailer for this, and I think you're basically like an astronaut that's out in space. Uh, that's some shady stuff is going on and you're just kind of like on a deserted planet trying to find out what the deal is maybe on some soma type things so my buddy nolan might like this so we're gonna go ahead give this a shot this is the full demo playthrough by the way this is the full demo playthrough so we're gonna see what we get here um i don't know hopefully it's good i guess <laughs> um I, just, I saw this the other day i saw it was coming out on playstation and that's where most of us are on okay here we go well, welcome to the Invincible Demo. The fragment you'll play is not the beginning, but takes place later in the game. The main protagonist has already gone through quite a lot. However, we don't want to spoil your experience with the entire game by spending too much. On the next page, we provided just a brief introduction to the scene that is taking place. Please keep two things in mind. First, getting to know this fragment of gameplay may still affect your reception of earlier parts of the game. Unavoidable spoilers alert. Okay. Second, remember that the current state of the game is not the final product. We're still working very hard to improve its quality and performance. And now. Alright, so let's uh, continue. Alright. Yasna? Yasna? Yasna. I'm saying Yasna. So Yasna has found information on the convoy sent from the field base of the Alliance, a hostile faction in a space race across the galaxy. Nevertheless, she desperately needs to find other people, even if they are political enemies. Yasna crosses the excavation area and heads toward the ravine following the convoy. She's getting closer, so needs to prepare for meeting the Alliance by conferring with her Astro Gator. He's the commander of their unit. From early in the game, he supported Yasna's actions from aboard a spaceship orbiting the planet where the entire story takes place, the Regis, or the Regis 3. This is where I start. Oh. Plan your route. Where am I? This? Okay. And I just gotta go up here. The road ahead leads straight to where the convoy was heading. Well then, what are you waiting for? Any doubts? No. No. I don't. I still think we have to go there. But they're not in the base. They must be somewhere, damn it. So, what's on your mind? I can just drive in there, straight to the convoy, or try and take a side path to remain unnoticed until the very last moment. Bold assumption. It would be an unnecessary detour. I leave that to your judgment, though. Space. You're cold, yeah. I don't think it will make much difference. I'm heading straight to the convoy. Okay, here we go. Alright, a little, little laggy. Out of demo. <laughs> Is this the uh, Astro Gator? Alright. Where are we going? A little laggy. Probably just because this is asking my computer. Actually, that's a great question. Hold up. This thing might be asking my computer to do everything under the sun. Yeah, I go figure. Uh, the best I could do is just keep everything high for the time being. My field of view, put it on ND. Okay. It may be a lot better. For me personally, at least. I've already lagged twice. I love it here. I'm nearing the destination. If I'm 
now and I'll be on foot. Good. It's better to approach with caution. Actually, I don't have a choice. The road is blocked. Seems like a site will collapse. How typical of the Alliance. To destroy everything that's in... The radiation level is rising rapidly. Yasna, be careful. The radiation. Of other people. Just... One of their vehicles got stuck in the rubble. Oh? So you've already reached the convoy? It's only this vehicle so far. I'm looking for the rest. Let's see my arm. Oh, let's do that. Vehicles, people. So this is probably everything you've already found by the time you get here, right? Robots? Uh, okay. Okay. On a helmet. Nothing. This is double from outside. What is this? I just have the interaction piece for it. Oh, it is. Ah, oh, yes. The radiation will get you. Alright, do I press? Nope, nope, that's cool. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Now we're over the thing. I'm gonna keep pushing. What the and hell? And there's another mobile antimatter cannon. Another one? How many of those did they... Is it active? Dead, fortunately. I admire your composure. Well, I've had my fair share of anxiety lately. No wonder my brain's in defense mode now. Dissociation is something we all do. Hang on, someone's here. Oh, that's what happened. I didn't let that thought get to me. Didn't want to. Finding them was my priority. It could have been just another abandoned place, not this. What exactly happened to them? Well, that's a good question. I'm not even sure what they were doing here. Oh, another hole. Great. I'm not sure if it's safe to go in there. Last time it turned out to be quite hazardous. True. Maybe take a look around first. There's so much dialogue, I don't wanna, you know. All right, so now we knocked out the bot, the person. Okay. Where's the device that I had earlier? Okay, okay. I'm getting into the Antimats recorder. All right, pull this out. What do we have here? What the heck? They were preparing for departure. <laughs> That's kind of a cool way to do it. Oh, 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 we go back, come back. Oh. They're getting close to where I am now. Let me, let me go back a page. They pass giant cranes pulling something out of a, well, giant hole. Interesting. I don't recognize that place. Okay. Go this way. Let me do this. It's the next one. They're here. Sending a probe. It's hard for them to reach the site. That's why they're trying to get there from above. Oh, they're tunneling their way through with a beam of antimatter. How oh, 
Fratov. Can you locate the breach? Looks like they found whatever they were looking for in that ominous tunnel. Of course. Don't jump to conclusions, Doctor. Not before you finish. We need to know what to expect there first. Those containers ended up in one of the transporters. I wonder if it's still nearby. Something's going on. I'll go back here and look at this. Oh, shame. <clears throat> the transport's leaving. Okay, I'll go back here. And I'll go at this. One man's trying to draw the attention of the others to... I have no idea what's beyond the frame. The photo is such poor quality. You can clearly see the fear on his face. One of them is staring with concern at an instrument. Some sort of meter. Measurements are also strange. The electromagnetic field is in the upper range. Ah, it's a recurring factor, which explains nothing, really. We're going in circles instead of getting off this planet. Is there anything actually helpful in those photos? Don't you want to know what happens? I do. My crew was safe and sound. I gladly investigated myself. Explaining this mystery would not only expand our knowledge, but also bring us honor and glory. Not to mention the exposure of the Alliance's incompetence. At the moment, though, I have other priorities, Doctor. Next slide. People rushing out of the tunnel. Running from... whatever's in there. But are we still considering whether you should go inside? I admit it's all very intriguing, but also too risky. What I'm trying to say is, I fear for your safety, Yasna. Rightly so. I'd be scared out of my mind, if not for our link. You help me keep it together, sir. One of the antimats has fired straight into the tunnel. And? What happened next? There's nothing else. Only... darkness. Can't you see what it was aiming for? The machine's objective has changed. There's a bunch of unidentified targets. It has trouble recognizing any of the 9,999 objects. The counter reached its limit, I guess. Sounds like a major fault in the circuitry. Combine that with tremendous firepower and it means big trouble. Everyone's trying to escape. There's also a second anti -mat. It's shooting into the air. Unbelievable. Both were faulty. Astrogator. The anti new objective is to eliminate. Instead of protecting. What happens next? I see Golden Crew. The second anti -mat. <clears throat> That's what destroyed it. People are frozen with fear. They don't know what to do. It's firing directly at the... Oh crew. my god. <laughs> Damn. Hey. Shooting them. One by one. Oh my god. Full-blown, like, death and destruction. It's horrifying what an antimatter beam does to the human body. I'm sorry you have to see this, Yasna. Regis 3 doesn't spare you. Damn this mission. I curse whoever sent us here to play some half our spy game. Someone hid behind a rock. How do you know? This antimat has thermal imagery. That's crazy. That person that was behind us. Hiding from it made no difference. Oh, never mind. One man has raised his hands in surrender. Only a machine could take pity on him. With a proper programming, it could recognize such gestures, but it could never feel compassion. No. It, it killed him. 
The machine just killed him. Oh, fuck. Yes, no? The last photo is from a few moments ago. I'm on it. Bloody hell. So it's not dead after all. The machine that massacred the Alliance is still operational. And it could target you at any moment. Let's hope not. Perhaps it's best to hope. While moving away. If that's all... What about that tunnel? Oh, right. I'm not hearing you object, sir. Go ahead, Yasna. I know you'll do it anyway. Hoffman. Alright. My sprint. Alright, let's go. Do I have a flashlight? I can hear a rhythmic metallic sound coming from beyond the tunnel. Take your time, I can't hear. I don't understand you, sir. The audio's breaking up. I'll get back to you once I reach the end. It's in Arctan. Coming at me. Huh. Carrying something. Uh oh. My vision is getting blurry, blurry. Yes, can you hear me? Over. Copy that. Ah! Uh, I don't feel too. My head feels like it's bursting from pressure. Breathe, Yasna. You need to rest. Better now. Uh, what are we looking for? It seems like this robot started a task and then got stuck in a loop. What task? Carrying boxes. It took one but never left. Why do you think it's stuck? Well, it goes in circles, using the same path. There's nothing here I haven't seen before. Just a lot of metal bushes. Same as the ones near our camp. Well, the lower parts of the bushes are fruitless. So the Alliance came to pick the fruits. The box is filled with containers, which I'm pretty sure are filled with research material. Those. Fruits. Hmm. Could you retrieve them somehow? It won't be easy to snatch a crate from its steel grip. So, before we do that, we're gonna see if we can find something. There's all that reason. Is it Mark the Robot? Yeah. Maybe something over here? No. Nope. Okay. There's the lights and stuff. Okay. Let's uh let's check over here real quick. Oh no, not again. I think that crew took some soil samples. There's this chip rock. Revealing what lies beneath the surface. Which is more metal? Yes, a metal interior.
Ooh, there's another one. Green does not suit you. Oh no, full might. Roots are exposed as well. They're not embedded in any rock, but in a tissue like alloy. Bush. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, all the bushes in this area, and there are plenty of them, appear to grow on the rock, but deep down their roots are embedded in metal. Perhaps you should take a closer look at them, Doctor. Can you please check them, Yasta? Do you have anything specific in mind? Doctor, it's all metal. Then I use a detector. Right. I'm checking. Give me a sec. Perfect. Everything matches. There's metal all around. And the bushes have a direct connection with the whole system. Interesting. So the structures I saw following Gorski. Yes. Huh. Well, perhaps it's... It looks like two generations. One, old, dead, a relic. Second, these bushes... ...grew in the remains of the former generation. Hang on. Are you saying that this new generation is alive? And the old one used to be alive? We can't rule it out. Couldn't you say that as a biologist? I haven't heard you mention cells, membranes, organs, or green bodies. Which leads me to one conclusion. That thing is not alive, Doctor. Well, we're used to calling all life protonaceous. Especially ourselves. But that's on us. The universe doesn't give a damn about our classifications. Yes, ma'am. You're abandoning your profession. What you have learned, discovered, researched so far? I'm just opening up to the unknown. Uh oh. Yeah, we'll check you again. <gasps> Shit! I can't handle it anymore. Oh, there's a hole in another hole. The anti-matter thing is still there. What the? Oh, fuck. Fuck, it's getting up. The robot? No, no, the anti-matter. You need to act fast. Move, yeah, yeah, fast. Yes, sir. Are you alive? Yes. We destroyed the robot. What are you doing now? Oh, no. It's over. The, the probe won't come this time. Yes, sir. Stay calm. It won't come. No. Don't die on me now. I brought us here. What? 
Jasper. You're alive. If you could reject it, why didn't you? After a series of successful missions, are you safe now? Safe enough. Please continue, sir. <laughs> mm, I'm all is. Yeah, she's trying to hear it. She's trying to hear it. You would agree that we were doing very well. Outstanding results. That's how it ought to end. Well. Yes, I fully agree. But then it seemed this could have been the crowning achievement of the entire expedition. Just imagine. You could have at least asked us. I did wrong. I know that now. I will never forgive myself for it. Neither do I expect you to. Oh, to hell with it. I can't really blame you. After all, you're the commander. It's your job to make decisions like that. And live with the consequences. Right. It means a lot to hear that from you, Yasna. Thank you. Okay, so... Uh, so what do we do now? We have the dialogue you finally let me send Hopper for you? I, I can't just fly away. Now more than ever. I won't rest until I find out what happened to our people and what we can do to aid them. I feel uncooked. Slides. You can forget about the research material. The only thing left of the Arctan is its feet. Considering all the factors, I would assume everyone in the convoy is dead. If there's anything more to learn, it's from the recording devices. The first Antimap told us a lot. The second one is destroyed. You spoke about the probe. It should be a valuable source of information. And the rovers. Are they on the convoy list? Is a rover? I don't know. Is a rover supposed to be? Am I? Am I looking someplace specifically? Hello, will the rovers be on this side? I see something. Actually, it's right in front of me. Alright, let's check this out. Oh, I'm just not gonna follow them. Alright, let's shave this one. Why even bother with security measures when they just leave keys in locks anyway? So, let's hear it. Hello, base. This is Antka. Hello, Antka. Tesla here. I can hear you. Reporting. 25th day of the mission, 7.15 a.m. We arrived. Huh. I saw it on the slide. We encountered a terrain obstacle, but it has been removed. You can skip ahead if you would. We've established permanent access to the extraction. Nah, site, I can't hear. Separated the material for research. Now we're securing the first transport. Dr. Boza and Osterhaus have already begun their preliminary research here on site. Gotcha. I'm passing it on. Let us know if there are any updates. Of course. Over and out. Huh, th there's more. Base, come in. Dr. Boza wants to talk with you. Tesla here, over. We have a sort of discovery. Oh, I'm listening. 25th day base. This is Boza. Doctor, these tiny crystals contain highly advanced technology. Individually, they are slender and helpless. However, 
when in a group they seem to stimulate and support each other, revealing new properties. At first, they started to emit an electromagnetic field. Okay. And then? A handful of small crystals gathered together. When in a larger group, they activated and... This is our biggest revelation so far. They started floating in the air. Did I hear that right? The larger the group, the easier, more freely. Yes. Apparently it's flying. Like a swarm of mechanical flies. Slow down, Doctor. You say crystals, or rather flies. Which one is it? Call it whatever you want. These creatures have a precise threefold symmetry, resembling the letter Y, with three pointed arms connecting in a central bulge. Black as coal in direct light, shimmering with shades of blue and olive in reflected light. As my colleague Osterhaus mentioned, Osterhaus. they somewhat resemble the abdomens of certain terrestrial insects. Is Markovnik there? The navigator's unavailable right now. Well, please let him know we'll submit our reports as soon as he's available. Oh, and have him send us another transporter, will you? Autonomous robots the size of flies. It's not finished. Let's keep listening. Hello, convoy. Anka, come in. Are you there? Yes, yes, I'm here. We're finishing loading. Preparing to depart. Don't! Gets tense. Leave the material behind and return to the base. Huh. But why? What happened? Scouts came back from this whole city. Tesla? What's going on? Hello? Tesla, come in. Navigator speaking. Don't take anything. Just get out of there. Immediately. That's an order. Last saved recording. Amazing. Microbots grouping and flying together, similar to flies, capable of affecting other machines, even to the point that those affected become dangerous to humans. The microbots, they must be dangerous as well. I don't know how, but not all people were killed by larger robots. I think I've figured it out. Partially, at least. The Alliance scientists were very clear that all of this had to do with an electromagnetic field. The field emitted by these flies. When people displayed disturbing symptoms, field measurements showed above average values. Now, at first I thought it was a sensoric malfunction after all the machines were broken. It turns out that field damaged them. So all the malfunctions occurred afterward. Why didn't I think of it sooner? Prolonged exposure to strong electromagnetic fields can be harmful to the human brain. Usually it concerns long-term effects, months and years of unfavorable conditions. Please elaborate, Doctor. What sort of effects? Various brain dysfunctions. It may even lead to the arrest of vital organs. So that's how... Merit. <sighs> Most probably. Another known effect of the EM field is memory loss. The human organism continues to function normally. But the human being is such as helpless, vulnerable. Like a baby, they don't understand the world around them. Can such a person learn the world anew? I can't be sure. There's no precedence. Even if there is room for development, learning everything all over, they won't, they won't remember anything. Even language, their past, our voyages together, let's face it, this new life of theirs will be far from normal. They'll be aged children, walking curiosities, oddities, lab rats, all that made them gone to hell. Perhaps researching those flies will help us to better aid our people. We're theorizing for now. It'll be worth examining. Confirm, at least. Got it, Astrogator. I'll search for those containers of flies. Located one of the transporters, sir. Please don't celebrate yet, though. Something strange has happened to it. Get to the point, please. What's wrong with it? 
The outer shell is damaged. There are holes everywhere. Like from bullets? No. It looks like it's been corroded by strong acid. Oh, can't climb. Oster Haas, no. It's like a whole. Uh... Bushes already protrude from the holes. Huh. I don't get it. There's bushes again. And here I thought it was all coming together. I still don't think we know the whole picture. Maybe if I look inside the transporter, I can find out more. Ah, go. Oh. The door to the cargo bay has budged a little, but it won't open fully. Just stuffed with bushes. But can you see past them? Not quite yet. Now! I can see broken containers. No sign of the flies. Just plenty of bushes. You have some theory, sir. Everything that comes to my mind seems absurd. You go ahead, sir. As I see it, no idea is too absurd right now. I haven't quite thought it through. Not yet. Maybe after I listen to your assessment. Well, look, I think it might work like this. The bushes and flies have a symbiotic relationship. I even consider that the flies are part of the bushes. Just like the fruits. If the flies can fly, they behave more like insects. And the bushes like plants. I see we're getting back to biological analogies. According to your profession, do I correctly conclude that you are confident that this can be a life form? I'm not sure whether to call it life. Given the age of the oldest forms, and the evidence of continued activity, differentiation, a particular drive towards miniaturization, improvement, and lethal effectiveness. It all resembles the evolutionary path of living forms. I and mean, the problem is, it's not alive. So, with a large dose of doubt, you could still call it evolution? A dead evolution, if anything. I still don't understand where this change is coming from. What if I said that the flies and bushes are the same thing, but in different forms? When they need to move, they develop moving parts, the flies. When they need to multiply, expand their volume, they settle on the metal substrate, form bushes, absorb raw material, and they are again ready to transform and relocate to a new source, and so on and so forth. And I can tell you it's the most sophisticated form of being I've ever heard of, with all the skepticism that comes with it. There are powerful emitters in the center, similar to those on Anergobots. Emitters only? Do they look like they're buried in the ground? Yeah. Then you're looking at the top of the Anergobot. Well, look carefully. And no bots can bury themselves in such a way that only the emitters protrude from the surface. The second transporter is under a force field. It's hovering above the ground. So it is operational. Probably also in better shape than the other one. Oh, it certainly looks better. The cargo may be intact then. The force field melted adjacent rocks. They had to run the generator on full power. They were defending themselves after all. From the swarm of flies, I presume. We don't know how large it was. 
They didn't capitulate. That's a good sign. Well, I don't know that. So far, I can only confirm that the field has not dissipated. Yet. Ah, got it. I know how to get inside. Under this field. Will you dig a tunnel? <laughs> I won't have to. There's already an entrance. I just need to get to it. Oh man, alright, this there's a lot of information to tackle. Let's just get under, so I can't get in here, right? No. Under. Oh, is it the side path from earlier then maybe? Let's find out. Uh oh, uh oh, calm down, calm down. Nice breaking through. So if I run too much my character gets a little headache. Maybe because I'm in the heat? I don't know. What if I get hit with the not in the demo screen right here? Oh, nine, go up. Oh, man. Careful. 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 Please. Uh, thank you. Alright, what do we got going on? I'll go down over here, and then we're gonna stretch through this little thin, narrow path. Not scraping my helmet on or nothing, apparently. It's cool, it's cool. Boom. Astrogator, I found their probe. Looks like it hid from the flies. Or just ended up here by pure luck. Luck indeed. The registry could be valuable, especially if it managed to photograph everything from a greater distance. Oh, come here, little probie. Oh, that didn't work. It flew away. Scared of you too? Uh, I'd rather say that my lack of authorization is more of a problem than me being scary. I won't be able to bring the probe down. Unless I find a working controller. <laughs> oh, I got inside the field. Do you copy, sir? Of course. The force field doesn't block radio waves. I suggest the following. If this transporter is actually running, it doesn't make any sense to take out the containers and carry them with you. You're going to take the whole transport. You'll have the flies in large numbers, a powerful means of transport that can fly over terrain inaccessible to the rover. But before you leave, you need to take down the force field. So first, the Energo bot, turning off the force field, then transporter, departure. All clear? How about I act according to my judgment? And you patiently await my request for help, sir. Uh, <laughs> You're right, yes. You're there. You make the decision. Thank you, sir. <laughs> the same objective, regardless. Is the probe still with you? Yep, yeah, it's here. so much going on here and so I need to find a controller as well what's over here this is this is rock I think it's just rock for the most part I'm double checking I don't miss nothing Stop looking around. Let's see what we can do with this. There's a panel to the side right here. We could open this up. No, that don't work. 
Alright. Oh, that's not it either. Since this is buried, is part of it accessible? This door right here. There you go. Oh, man, that door. for a moment there because of the flies. I'll have a lot of time to think about it. Now we have to check if you'll be able to leave with this transport. Of course. I'm on it. Although first, I'd like to see them up close. Very well. Just hurry up. Oh, yeah, nothing. them nothing more don't worry sir what some goddamn black holes up in the street and you say not to worry just look outside doctor shoot me up out i'm sorry a black hole come again don't let me out okay turn 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 A group of these flies could be. I can tell you. Oh. Yes, yes, I know. I can see it from fucking orbit. Oh, yeah, you're getting cooked, coach. Jeez. All right, well, I go hope the family stuff. I thought that was an interesting day. I, I honestly, I might play this game myself. That's actually really, really cool. Um. Dang, that was actually kind of cool. Alright, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the demo. It was a long demo. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. You guys take it easy and have a good one. That was pretty fun. I like that a lot, actually. Peace.